Online retailer Temu sues fashion giant Shine, alleging mafia-style intimidation. The fast fashion giant Shine is facing legal action from rival online shop Temu, alleging mafia-style intimidation of suppliers. According to the complaint filed in Washington, D.C., on Wednesday, the company's campaign of threats was a part of a desperate plan to beat off its competition in the U.S. A particular accusation made against Shine is that it called Chinese suppliers it thought were collaborating with Temu to its offices, where they were falsely imprisoned for hours. It is also claimed that the vendors were threatened with consequences for doing business with their competition and that their cell phones were seized while they were being held. Shine is also accused of abusing intellectual property rights and stealing Temu's important advertising and marketing personnel. This is the most recent confrontation between the two Chinese-born competitors in the low-cost retail space. A Temu spokesperson said, We sued Shine because recently their actions have escalated. They began to illegally detain merchants, forcibly asking for their phones, stealing our merchant accounts and passwords, stealing our business secrets, and simultaneously forcing merchants to leave our platform. PDD Holdings, the parent company of Temu, filed the case, characterizing Shine's actions as part of a mafia-style intimidation campaign. A spokesperson for Shine, which is based in Singapore, said in a statement, We believe this lawsuit is without merit and we will vigorously defend ourselves. Both businesses are active in the US and the UK. The two competitors have previously engaged in legal disputes. The businesses filed lawsuits against one another in US courts last year, but in October they withdrew their claims. While Temu accused Shine of breaking antitrust rules in its interactions with apparel manufacturers, Shine had accused Temu of encouraging social media influencers to post negative statements about its company. Shine has been in discussions with the London Stock Exchange about holding a public listing in the United Kingdom earlier this week.